571-751.015, armed criminal action. This gives all the leeway for any prosecutor to charge anybody that has a weapon, whether that's brass knuckles, a firearm, an explosive, or anything that uh, can potentially uh, cause death upon access. Uh, and that's the Armed Criminal Action Statute 571 uh, commits any felony under the laws of the state with, uh, with or through the use, assistance uh, of aid of dangerous instrument or deadly weapon is also guilty of a crime of armed criminal action. So if we have a teenager that's selling drugs and he has a weapon on he falls up underneath armed criminal action. If we have a teenager that's committing a violent act, he falls up underneath armed criminal action. If we have somebody that has a handgun that's underneath the age of 21, they fall up underneath armed criminal action. Uh, and these are all charges that the prosecutor can prosecute. And armed criminal action carries a weight of three to five years. And if we look at the calculation of charges that are charged with armed criminal action, you see that it's almost 100% uh, guaranteed hit ratio because all you have to do is have a weapon and the commission of a crime and you're guaranteed to get armed criminal action or ACA as criminals often talk about. Uh, staying in that same chapter, 571, 571.060, unlawful transfer of weapons. A person commits the offense of unlawful transfer of weapons if he knowingly sells, leases, loans, give away, or delivers a firearm, ammunition, for a firearm to any person who is under the provision of the subsection 571.070. Uh, and that will refer to, again, the legal right to be able to carry a firearm in the state of Missouri, which falls underneath the supremacy clause when we talk about the federal law, which, again, restricts individuals underneath the age of 21 from having a handgun. Uh, Chapter 571, stand in that same chapter. 571.030, unlawful use of weapons. It is unlawful <coughs> use of weapons to carry concealed upon or about his person a knife, firearm, blackjack, or anything readily capable of lethal use in, into any area where firearms are restricted. Uh, danger, uh, discharges and shoots a firearm into a dwelling house, railroad train, boat, aircraft, motor vehicle, or anything else that moves. A firearm or projectile weapon readily capable of lethal use, and that's just the definition. So it gives you anything that discharges, anything that comes in combination. Uh, stand in that same chapter. 571, 571.020. Possession, manufacturing, transport, repair, sale of certain weapons, a crime, uh, a person commits an offense if a person knowingly possesses, manufactures, transports, repairs, or sells. <laughs> and again, it gives you the explosive weapons, uh, gas guns, bullets, knuckles, machine guns, short barrel rifles, silencers, switchblades, etc. Uh, chapter 44, 44.101, uh, firearms and ammunition. Uh, uh, any person shall not, that's the goal to the law. This is one of the concerns about uh, if y'all actually can do it. 44.10, uh, any person shall not prohibit or restrict the lawful possession, transfer, sale, transportation, storage, display, or use of a firearm and ammunition. This will become important when I get to the CCW chapter. Uh, chapter 77, 77.50 gives you police regulations, dropping all the way down to the bottom of the, uh, of the chapter. Uh, to regulate, restrain, and prevent, prevent the discharge of firearms and keeping the discharge of rockets, uh, powder, fireworks, and other dangerous combustible materials in the streets or on city limits. The reason I read this is this state statute actually allows law enforcement to create rubrics around arresting people for discharging firearms or anything that is combustible. Uh, chapter uh, 578, 578.435, weapons defines weapons owned in possession of gang members may be confiscated. In the city of Kansas City, we have a gang list. So if any young individual is associated with a gang list, this gives immediate uh, authority to law enforcement to be able to apprehend whatever weapon that individual has. I grew up with people that are still on the gang list, uh, and they're in their 30s now. Chapter 571, 571.020, seven, uh, possession, manufacture, transport, resale of certain weapons, and a crime. Uh, this is another chapter that goes to so a person commits the offense of 
Such person normally possesses, manufactures, transports, or sells. That's another chapter that overlays the ability to give weapons. And again, it's illegal underneath federal statute to give a handgun or ammunition to somebody that's under the age of 21, with the exception of a CCW in the state of Missouri, in which somebody that is 19 can legally qualify for a CCW permit, which would allow them to have a rifle or a handgun and a combination of ammunition. Uh, chapter 571. 